Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to talk a little bit about RV setup and how to be ready to get on the road quickly. So stay tuned. We are Charity, Ben, Dakota, and Trinity. We decided we didn't want to wait for a life of adventure. So in 2017, we bought our first RV and set off to live a life of travel in the USA. We've visited over 38 states in three years and have many more to go. Follow along to learn all the best places to see, RV and travel tips, and much more. So a lot of people are full-time, there's part-timers, the weekend warriors, there's a lot of different types of RVers and we'd love for you to let us know in the comments below kind of where you fall in that whole thing. Are you full-time, part-time? Are you an aspiring RVer or where are you at in your journey? So today's video is going to be helpful regardless of where you find yourself in the journey and part of what we're going to talk about is how to set up your RV so that you can get on the road quickly, whether you're going full-time or whether you just want to be able to kind of get up and go at a moment's notice, get on the road quickly for the weekend, however it is that you're choosing to live RV life. So tip number one is to keep your RV preloaded with things like some duplicate things that you can keep in your RV that aren't going to mess up any sort of house life if you're maybe still living in a sticks and bricks house. So the number one thing that we keep duplicates of in our RV are towels. And this is because I like to use a specific type of towel for our RV travel. And that is the microfiber type travel towel. Now, these particular towels that I use, I got from a company on Amazon called Venture Forth. They actually reached out to us after we mentioned them in a video and it gave us a discount for our viewers. So you can actually save 25% on these travel type towels using the link in the description below and the discount code that we've got there next to that link. So if you're interested, you can grab those there. But I like to use these particular type of towels for RV life because they dry very quickly and you can hang them up and they don't take up a lot of space either. So having a duplicate set of towels in your rig can help you get on the road faster there. Another thing that's super easy to keep duplicates of in your rig are things like dishes and cutlery. Now, I did not spend a fortune on any of my dishes or my cutlery. My cutlery, I went to the local thrift store and I picked it up for like 10 cents a piece. Same with things like some melamine type dishes and cups and even my pots and pans that I have duplicates of that I keep in the RV. So these are my RV pots and pans I picked up at our local thrift store for just a mere few dollars for each particular item. So having extra dishes that are already in the RV, already loaded up, can help save time and get you on the road faster. Hey there, we're gonna interrupt this video real fast because I want to ask you to do us a huge favor and that is if you have not already, please subscribe. We are really close to hitting some major milestones with approximately 20,000 subscribers and that is where we want to hit before we hit the road this summer. So do us a favor, if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button and give us a thumbs up if you're liking the video so far. All right, back to our regularly scheduled programming. Another thing we keep duplicates of in our rig are things like extra toiletries. So super easy to take an extra toothbrush, an extra tube of toothpaste, things like shampoo, conditioner, bar soap, hand soap, those types of toiletries. Very, very easy to just stick a duplicate in your rig. I actually even have an extra travel size hair dryer that I keep in the rig, so I never have to worry about loading that up. It's already loaded and ready to go. So one thing that I keep duplicates of in our RV is bedding. So I actually keep our bed made. I have an extra set of sheets and an extra blanket that I just keep on the bed. 
I wash the sheets when we come home from a trip, put them back on so we are ready to rock and roll. I also keep extra things like blankets and pillows in the RV. Those are just the RV blankets and pillows so we can rock and roll at a moment's notice. Another duplicate that I keep in the rig and actually I keep this in the rig and don't even use it in the house because of the style of coffee maker that we have, but coffee filters. So these are in the rig. They go in our built-in coffee maker. So we are ready to go again, packed up at a moment's notice. Something else that I keep duplicates of is things like foil and Ziploc bags and an extra set of spices. So I have duplicates of those that just stay in the RV. It's one more thing that's preloaded, so we're ready to go at a moment's notice. So another thing that we keep in the RV is a set of duplicates, is just a set of very basic tools. So in this bag, we've got things like an extra Phillips screwdriver, um, another extra Phillips screwdriver, some of these like wire cutting things, little wrench. All of these are just good tools to have on hand, but these are all duplicates. So these stay loaded up in the RV. They're already there. We don't have to worry about loading those back up before that we go on any trips, which just helps us to get on the road faster. So there you have it. We're ready to go. Now we just need to add clothes and food. So that's all we've got to pack up and we're ready to hit the road. Now I'm going to give you some insider tips that I have learned on how to really efficiently pack up your clothes and your food to where you can do this within a matter of just an hour or two, depending upon how large your family is. So let's jump into those tips. So here are some tips to make loading up your clothes and food super, super easy. Number one is I use use really big Ikea bags. So I have these Ikea bags that I keep for this exact purpose. So these make for huge bags. So we're gonna go inside and we're gonna start loading up our clothes and food. But using these, I can fit almost everything that needs to go into the refrigerator and into the cupboards in just one of these large type Ikea bags also work great for bringing the clothes out. The other thing is, is using things like laundry baskets. So I have this extra laundry basket, a couple other extras too, but loading up things into a big laundry basket to carry that out into the rig makes for very easy loading up the RV as well. So the other thing that I use as I am loading up our rig with pretty much just clothes and food because we have a lot of duplicates that we keep in the rig itself is I do still use a packing checklist. Now I've developed this particular packing checklist over the last three years of RV life because it seems like for every single of those trips that we took out in the beginning, we were still forgetting things. And so I started just compiling a very large list that I kept in the notes app of my phone. I did just convert this over into Google Drive and created a free download for you guys. So if you go to gratefulglamper.com forward slash checklist, you can download your free template of my RV packing list. I have everything on here, even though some of these things might be part of the duplicates that I already have on board, just because I want to verify that yes, I still have that in the rig. It didn't come into the house at some point and it's ready to go with us. So as I'm packing up the clothes and the food, I still go over this checklist to make sure that I'm not forgetting anything. So here's some clothes that I pulled out of our sticks and bricks that we're gonna load up real fast. And I've got a couple of cool tips to show you about clothes and loading up your RV when it comes to clothes. 
So when it comes to things like socks and undies, I actually use these drawer organizers from Ikea. You can also find these at the dollar store and there's some on Amazon that I will link to below. But what I actually do is I keep socks and underwear in these types of organizers in our sticks and bricks house because it makes for very easy transport into the rig. So just take them out of the drawer, put them in my big Ikea bag to bring a load out here. And then I can just get them loaded right into our drawers. And we are ready to rock and roll on that. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these in the rig real fast and go get another load. So a few tips that I have for clothes that hang on hangers. And that is to just downsize life. When we go to pack up the rig, it's very, very easy clothing wise because everything that is in our closet and our sticks and bricks house will fit in this closet because we just don't own a lot of clothing. We live very minimalistically. And so we try to go with the one in one out principle. If somebody gets a new shirt, then we get rid of an old shirt. So we stay very minimal when it comes to clothing. And that way, when we go to pack up clothing in the RV, especially hanging things, it's just easy to grab everything that's there, put everything that's in the house in here. And that way we're not gonna run the risk of forgetting anything. Nobody's gonna say, where's that sweatshirt or whatever, because every single piece of clothing that we own just comes with us. So when it comes to the kids' clothes, this gets super, super easy to load up to get on the road. Underneath the bunks here, I've got these bins that will just pull out. And so because we live minimalistically anyway, and then it makes it very easy to get ready to go on our trips that we go on, I'm just going to pull one of these bins out from underneath the bed and then all of the kids clothes are going to go in these bins so we've got two kiddos one kiddo gets a bin a piece for clothes and then we have a third bin that we use for things like extra shoes or extra books or extra whatever that they feel like that they can't live without on the road trip so that's what we've got here makes it very easy to pack up i take this in i load it I bring it back, I put it back underneath. This also makes it very easy when we are done traveling and we come back home for a while that they can carry their bin inside, unload it, we bring it back empty. So you can get some more info on this particular bunk setup over in our renovation series. So we'll put a link above here to the renovation series, which will give you more info on uh, how we did this bunk setup. So I've got one of the kiddos clothes loaded up here in the bin. So we're gonna go slide this under the bunk but this type of system for packing makes it super, super easy. And it also makes it to where you can pack up very, very quickly to get on the road. We uh, also go the equivalent of full-time during the summer months where we're out for three months at a time. And you can fit everything that you need really in one of these bins per kid. Doesn't take a lot. We do laundry at least every, you know, couple of days with our onboard washer dryer. Even when we didn't have an onboard washer dryer, I did laundry at least once a week. So it's not like that you really need that much when it comes to clothing. Watch out, buddy. Watch out, Doggins. <laughs> Always gotta be the star of the show, huh? It's okay, give me knuckles, bro. It's a boy. So those are our tips for being able to get on the road quickly to be able to just go wherever that you want to go when you're living the RV life. So let me know in the comments below any tips, tricks, hacks that you have for RV packing, for RV organizing. I would love to see what some of you guys have done when it comes to those particular things. 
make sure that you check out my planning guide as well over at gratefulglamper.com forward slash planner as you're making those summer plans. You can check us out on Patreon, social media. I do Instagram posts almost every day. So check us out on our Grateful Glamper Instagram. And until next time, we will see you on the road. Now you... Now Whoa. you... Come on, dog. Hey, buddy. What you doing? Yeah. Like, don't mind if I do. He's just going to sit on me, isn't he? Lay down. Lay down. What are you doing? <laughs> You're right in the way of my bins. <laughs>